Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Terry Crews was once learn more Jonasi's childhood inspiration. Now the America's Got Talent host is one of the Zimbabwe comedian's most enthusiastic fans. In an epic and heartwarming full-circle moment on the season 19 premiere of the talent competition, Cruz bestowed the starstruck comic with a coveted golden buzzer after a hilarious stand-up routine had the audience in stitches. Is this a dream? Is this happening? An astonished Janasi uttered before jokingly asking Cruz to punch him just to make sure it was real. Before the golden confetti rained down, Sending Janasi straight to the live rounds, the comedian shared where his love for Cruz began as a child. While growing up in Zimbabwe, Janasi watched Cruz in the movie White Chicks with his grandparents, often laughing at his character's signature move. I used to mimic that all the time when I was a kid, he said, adding that he knew he wanted to be like him when I grow up. Fast forward years later, and Janasi was getting a chance to meet his childhood idol in person. After spotting Cruz backstage, the former football star dropped what he was doing to say hello. I'm a big fan of yours, a stunned Janasi told him. Good to see you, boy, Cruz replied, while giving him a hug. All the way from Zimbabwe, I used to watch you as a kid, and you made, I'm here because of you, Janasi said. Cruz was honored and promised to talk more with Janasi later, but even their brief exchange left the comedian reeling. Wow, look, all right, nothing will top this, like I could go home now. I think I'm done, he joked to producers. Luckily for AGT fans, Janasi didn't go home and instead had the judges and audience howling with his unique blend of stand-up and physical comedy that paid homage to his African roots. You see I come from a small village in Zimbabwe, he began. Far away from everything, we're the simplest of things, you know, ignites our excitement. Like they recently installed a traffic light in my village. Everybody was so excited about this traffic light, we were all taking photos with it. Janasi then used the microphone stand as a makeshift traffic light and hilariously struck his best photo-worthy pose. The comedian also pointed out Zimbabwe's lacking cell phone reception and the unique way in which they all stay in touch with one another. Our people are so old school, we don't even use social media. To view someone's photos you have to visit their house first. Look around the house, you know looking at all the photos in the house. I like this one, he said while pretending to point to a photo on stage. Oh, and I like this one. I would like to share this one, he said before pretending to hold a photo up in the air. During the two-minute routine, Janasi also poked fun at America, offering his unexpected observations after arriving to the country. But now I'm in America, man, just into this country, man, everything is new to me, he said. Like when I first came to America, I saw something I didn't know existed. I saw poor white people. As the audience erupted into laughter, he continued, What? How is this possible? This white guy was like, can I have a one dollar? I was like, I came here to ask you for a one dollar. The hysterical routine had the audience and all four judges on their feet. We are so glad you're here, fellow comedian Howie Mandel praised him. Let me just say something, stand-up comedy is hard enough as it is. But to come from another country where English isn't even your first language, not only communicate with everybody, but tickle everybody, make everybody laugh, make this a better place, you are truly amazing. Simon Cowell declared Janasi one of the funniest people we've ever had over the years. I was laughing so much, he said. You were having the best time as well. But it was Cruz who intervened just as the judges were set to vote that had the highest form of praise for the comedian as he made his way to the judges' table. Learn more, when you were backstage, you were telling me that you were taking 14-hour bus trips to go perform for five minutes, and then having to take 14-hour bus trips back home. Brother, you will never have to go back home again, because you are here with us forever, he said before slamming the golden buzzer. 
The shocked Janazi dropped to his knees as the confetti fell down around him. Cruz made his way to the stage and happily embraced Janasi. I love you, brother, he told him. Backstage, Janasi reflected on the surreal moment his dreams came true. Oh man, you changed my life, he told Cruz. I got to come to Zimbabwe and hang out with you, Cruz replied. To find out how far Janasi will go in the competition, watch America's Got.